DR Horton receives so many negative reviews. Anywhere you look, there's something negative out there about them, people complaining, but is DR Horton really as bad as all these reviews say they are? So welcome back to our channel. I'm Vincent. I'm Lisa. And we are going to answer the question, is DR Horton really a crappy <laughs> builder? Right, so our opinion right off the top, no, they're not a crappy builder. Uh, a lot of people, there's so many complaints out there on social media, especially Facebook. I mean, nonstop. There's a whole group dedicated to DR Horton complaints. Uh, they're on Facebook. There are other websites that have complaints. You'll see there's lawsuits against DR Horton. But one thing that's helpful for you to know is. DR Horton is the largest builder in America. And you don't become the largest builder in America by building crappy houses. They would have gone out of business years ago, right? And so one of the reasons why people complain about the quality of their build uh, is because they just don't understand the process. They don't know, you know, that your house is literally under construction until you close on that house. And so one thing that's helpful for folks to know is that every single community has a different team of folks who's working on those houses. So our community, we have two superintendents. We have a host of assistant superintendents who are helping to make sure all the houses are being built and at a good standard. Other communities, you may have one superintendent and, and that person is man managing the entire thing, right? And so there's a superintendent and then there's subcontractors who work um, under that superintendent. Their work is, is, is uh, evaluated by that superintendent. And so think of it this way. You have um, the, the concrete that has to be poured, right? Those are subcontractors who come in and do that. You have the framing that have to be put together, subcontractors. The roof that has to be done, a different group of subcontractors. Plumbing, electrical, HVAC, painting, landscaping, all of these are different subcontractors, different groups of people uh, who come in at, the, at their specific time to put their piece of puzzle, piece of the puzzle into making this house come together. And so sometimes you may see that the electrical guy comes in and he makes a mistake. But then the HVAC person comes in and they see the mistake, but they go ahead and get their part done. The reason why is because it's not their job to identify what the electrician did wrong. That's when the superintendent, when he or she is coming through the house and they're looking at things, seeing if the work got done correctly, they identify those issues and they get them fixed. Now, if you're anything like us, we came to the house every single week, at least, at least once a week. I wanted to come more, uh, but we came at least once a week, right? And so we might have seen things before the superintendent saw it or before the assistant superintendent saw it. And we were able to communicate those issues or our concerns to our realtor. And so that's another reason why sometimes people have a difficult time when building their house. It's because they don't have a realtor. People, please, <laughs> we beg you, get a realtor even if you're building a brand new house. Are you required to have one? No, you're not. But it helps you mm -hmm. to have someone who's looking out for your best interest. The sales agent will tell you that they're looking out for your best interest, but they work for DR Horton, right. right? You want someone who works for you who's looking out for your best interest. And the great thing is you don't have to pay for it. DR Horton, once you close on that house, DR Horton pays your agent. Now, if you don't close, you know, you might be in a different situation. Um, but as long as you close on the house, DR Horton pays uh, for your realtor. And then the last thing that we really want to encourage you all to do and have are your inspections. We got a pre-drywall inspection as well as a final inspection. We have a whole video on that. You can do a slab inspection uh, if you get it done early enough. And that's you know, before they, yeah, that's before mm -hmm. they pour the concrete in. And so get your inspections. If they tell you that they don't allow buyers to do inspections, 
then that's your opportunity to decide whether or not you want to purchase in that community, right? Any builder who's building a house, if they're doing a good job, they should not mind someone coming in, a trained professional to come in and inspect their work. And so uh, don't just depend on the city inspection. Uh, we talk about all that stuff in another video. So go check out that video. Um, <laughs> but make sure you, one, keep in mind what the process is like to build a house, but also that you get a realtor, you get an inspector, uh, because they're really not that bad. You just got to hold them accountable to hold the subcontractors accountable, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's something that we really wanted to address because a lot of these negative reviews, if you kind of dig into it a little bit or people reveal in their review, they sometimes don't have a realtor or they don't get private inspections. And so those two things are so major in making sure that your build is going well. And if you don't have those two things, then you're kind of setting yourself up for mishaps or missing things or not even knowing what to look for, mm -hmm. right? Realtors are super experienced and professional. Inspectors are super experienced and professional, usually. Um, but make sure you research, get a good realtor, get a good inspector, and that will go such a long way in alleviating some of your stress and your questions throughout your build. So our experience uh, with DR Horton while we were building, we had a great team in our community. Um, the superintendent communicated well, the sales agent communicated well, but again, with our realtor, we had a great realtor from the beginning to mm -hmm. the end. She's amazing. We've shot her out so many times and we really relied on her for relaying some questions that we had. In some cases she could answer them because she's so experienced herself and she would know how to ask that to the sales agent, the sales agent to the superintendent or whoever the appropriate party was. Our questions were always answered in a timely manner because we had a great realtor and because we asked those questions that we needed to ask. Also, we had a private inspector. Again, make sure you get one of those. And through our pre-drywall inspection, as well as our post-drywall inspection, we were given the details and information we needed to ask about certain things that needed fixing, which was nothing major um, for our build personally. And also our inspector was that uh, second, third set of eyes on everything that was done, super thorough. Watch our inspections video as well when we go into detail about that. But we had a great experience, no complaints there. Um, 10 out of 10 stars <laughs> on everybody that we worked with in our community. And like Vincent mentioned, some communities may not have as robust of a team um, as we did, but that's where your inspector and your realtor really come in to fill in those gaps or communicate on your behalf um, throughout the whole entire build. So now, that's key. Yeah, and it's important to remember that we are working with humans throughout this entire process. Mm -hmm. So nothing is going to be perfect. There's some things in our house that we're like, why did they do it this way, right? Like the yeah. dining room light is not centered. Why, right? <laughs> and so things like that are going to happen. We get it fixed. We bring it up to their attention. We have a warranty for those things, mm -hmm. right? So it's going to be okay. Hopefully you all don't hear our dog smacking on this food <laughs> right now. If someone knows how to get dogs to stop smacking while they're eating, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's important for you to know that you're working with humans, including your realtor is a human, including your inspector is a human. So they won't capture, catch everything. Uh, but as long as you do a great job with interviewing your realtor, making sure that they understand the new build process, making sure that they don't mind like rolling up on the sales agent mm -hmm. when they're not responding to their emails or text messages, right? Yeah. They're gonna get in their car and roll up to see what's going on, right? Have a realtor who is willing to do whatever it takes to get the answers that you need, right? Whatever it takes legally, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want nobody to get in a fight, but. <laughs> Someone who's gonna advocate for you and there we go. Um, the questions that you and your family have throughout the build, there's no wrong question or wrong way or time mm -hmm. to ask something, you're gonna be living there. So use your realtor to your full advantage and they are used to asking those types of questions and getting the job done. Yep. And so as we get ready to head into our next stage and living in our amazing home, we've been here for a little over seven months now, you see that we're sitting on a couch that hasn't appeared in any of our videos before <laughs> because we're finally getting our furniture in. 
I mean, if you've been following us, you know it's been a long wait for some of these things and they're trickling in. And so look out for furniture and decor videos and reviews as we go on throughout our channel. And related to this topic of is DR Horton a crappy builder, check out our previous videos. We go through the new build phases, we go through inspections, we talk about our three month experience living here, our six month experience living here. So our channel is jam packed full of more detail on what it's like to build new construction and living in new construction after the fact. So check those out. And we appreciate all of our subscribers. Our channel grew so quickly. Uh, and we think it's because the information that we're giving you, at least this is what we've heard from you all, mm -hmm. the information we're giving you all has been so helpful. Uh, and so continue to ask us those questions because it helps us understand what information you all need to know. Like we're six, seven months removed from the build process now. And so we're trying to get all of it out <laughs> before we forget it. Uh, so if there are things that you all are looking for, please put them in the comment box below. We read all of them. We try to respond to all of them. Uh, remember to hit that like button. It helps the channel out. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe, join the crew. Uh, we welcome you. And so thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Peace.